doesn't have a fake English accent. <laughs> he has a real one. Alan Craker. Come on, Alan. Yeah. Thanks very much uh, for coming out. It's um, kind of bright, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Uh, it's great to be here in the you know the company of so many great comics here. I hope you know you appreciate it. It's been really good tonight. I'm really uh, really afraid to be up here right now. Actually, I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time for me. Actually, I'm not used to being in front of so many people. You know, with my clothes on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, it's a little bit better, but you know, you get more money the other way at least. <laughs> As you know, we did a, a stand-up class, and um, actually, I wasn't even meant to be in the stand-up class. No, it's, uh, my wife uh, signed me up for the uh, lap dancing for beginners class. <laughs> it, was, it was taking place on the same night in the room next door, so, you know, I show up, I drive in, I walk in the door, and she says, no, 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 sorry, sir, no, no, it's for women only. I'm like, for women only, come on, that's a joke. <laughs> no, no, sorry, you can't do women only, okay. Does he know, could you do something? You know, kick me around, you can practice on me or something. You know? <laughs> no, 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 you can't do it. So, okay, so I went on over to the comedy thing. It worked out pretty good, so. So some of you can know, you know, as we already mentioned before, I'm from the UK. So, uh, is anyone here from the UK? Anybody? Okay, nobody on up to that. That's not a surprise now, is it? But, um, you know, uh, being from the UK, you know, we have a lot of great things in the UK. You know, great food, you know, gourmet food, stuff like that. <laughs> warm beer is another good one we have. That's pretty good. Everyone likes some warm beer, you know, especially in the summer. But the other great thing, you know, thanks to Austin Powers, you know, classy dental work. Everyone knows that great thing. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the hairy chest. You know, we have big hairy chests and stuff. So, you know, at least there's only the men in England that have hairy chests. I've been to some places where the women have hairy chests. <laughs> that is pretty scary. So, you know, and, uh, one of the other things I find difficult, you know, in, in America is the language. <laughs> you know, you might think you guys speak English, but you don't. You know? It's not even close, you know, it's, it drives me crazy, you know. Just like... Example, okay. You guys wear your briefs and then you put your pants on over the top, right? Okay. In the UK, we put our pants underneath and we put our trousers over the top. I mean, imagine me shopping for the first time. You know, <laughs> But it makes me think, what was Superman thinking? <laughs> There's a guy, you know, he puts his American pants on first, then his English pants on after that. <laughs> and this guy was supposed to save the world. <laughs> Not even dress problem. You know, the, you know, to his credit though, you, you think about it. You know, he's going to change from a suit and tie into a ballerina outfit in a phone booth in under five seconds without anybody seeing it. <laughs> that's not easy. You know, that's it. So you can easily get your pants mixed up. <laughs> another, another thing, you know, being from the UK and coming over here, as you, as you might know, in the UK we drive on the other side of the road. Yeah. You know, so you on the right side of the road. <laughs> on the right side of the road. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll plug that one in, it's okay. You know, you know, it's tough too because most other people are more interested in the other things they're doing in the car. You know, you know, eating a Big Mac, you know, drinking a 64 ounce Coke, you know, a Diet Coke, of course. You know, along the cell phone, yeah, you know, I just have trouble driving, you know, or seeing the road, you know. Yeah, these people. Now, it's about seeing, I, I don't see too well, you know, as you probably notice, you know, with the glasses and stuff, you know, and uh, one of the scariest things for me, not seeing well, is getting my hair cut. I, you might not think of it, you know, I, I go in and I sit down and I take off my glasses in front of the mirror. I'm like, man, I don't see anything, you know, I just see the it round, it's my head, I guess. And, uh, and so all of, you know, and I put on my trust, and the little Asian lady with the scissors, she's standing behind, clipping away, and I'm like, Jesus, you know, she could take my ear off, you know, but I wouldn't even see it, you know. Vincent Van Gogh, you know, be like walking around with one ear, that'd be like great. You know? Well, I guess when I put my glasses back on, I probably would notice. Kind of <laughs> uh, you know, so, so what I've already been thinking about because of this is maybe getting like LASIK surgery done. Has anybody had that done in here? Anybody? Hello, sir, over here? We're over here? Okay. <laughs> I hope he's not driving home. So, you know, I've been thinking about that, but I don't know about you guys, but I've only got two eyes. You know, anyone got three? Nobody. Okay. You know, I haven't seen them on sale anywhere, like at Walmart or Costco, you know, or you know, maybe on a nighttime ad, you know. Call in the next ten minutes and get new eyes for 1995. I haven't seen one of those ads yet, but you know, maybe I'll check out eBay. Maybe they'll have new eyes I can use. So and you know why my eyes are so bad, or a lot of people's eyes are so bad, it's computers. That's right. 
computers. <laughs> now you sit in front of you know, your computer all day, you know, and if you imagine when you were growing up and your father would have said to you, okay, son, what are you going to do when you grow up? Say, well, you know, Dad, in the year 2004, we're all going to sit around in front of like 17-inch flickering screens. We're going to do all our work with a mouse. It's hooked up to a metal box. You'd be saying, man, you'd be thinking you'd be smoking dope or something in your room. He said, no, wait, Dad, it's better. It gets better. He says, when we come home from work, no, we're not going to sit around with family. No. no we're going to go upstairs, sit in a dark room, you know, get on the internet, you know, and chat with our friends in the chat room. And he's going, oh, man, this guy's crazy. I probably think you're reading too much of the George Orwell novels or something. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I've got today. And um, actually, it's been uh, it's been great up here for me. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what the manager read. So, and um, you know, if I win my sex discrimination lawsuit against the lap dancing class. <laughs> Now, there might be a chance that next year you could well, come and watch my new routine in a bar somewhere, okay? <laughs> but please, please, women only, no men, thank you.